Well, uh, yes, uh, Alex, and a bit of no, in fact. When you're looking at uh, the overall picture with regard to at least the Q1 numbers, which is, which is what I'll try to focus on because that's why the stock's buzzing, uh, your margins have held up surprisingly well. 4.4% uh, was the margin number at the end of Q4. FY24, it's come in at 2.36%, so very, very small contraction. When you're comparing that, to uh, a Kotak uh, and the way in which a Kotak bank or an Axis bank's margins have contracted, uh, there has been a larger shrink where Kotak's margins are concerned. And therefore, ICICI Bank standing out with regard to that margin number, especially in the larger private banks. Uh, now, when you're switching focus more towards the operational side of things, while the margin NII largely in line, you saw operationally a very strong quarter coming in from ICICI. And Therefore, your operating profit was a beat in comparison to at least NDTV profit estimates. You also saw provisioning largely in line and therefore profit after tax was also a beat. Uh, and therefore, when you're looking at it from an overall perspective, you're seeing at least on the PNL side of things, a good steady set of numbers continue. Your ROA is remaining at 2.36% versus the same number uh, in Q4 FY24 and asset quality holding up. In fact, on the personal loan side of things, ICICI seems to have a slightly differentiated uh, commentary coming in where they're not seeing too much of uh, a delinquency on that particular pool of assets. And that's something that stood out at least for me. On the growth side of things as well, impressive. 16% growth year on year on advances, 3% sequential. 15% on deposits as well, 1% sequential on the higher base that they did last quarter. So overall, it looked like a very strong set and a steady set, more importantly. No slip-ups on any of those line items that came out. All right. I, I'm just being told, let's pull up the intraday chart on the Nifty 50. Thanks so much, Harsh, for getting us those details. Nifty 50 now only 25 points away. And like I said, tantalizingly, close, it is climbing, it is just a matter of a few points. And uh, we will, of course, get you the voices uh, that matter on what this means for you and your investments as well. For now, let's move on with the show. And we've got Rajesh Agarwal of AUM Capital and Rajesh Palvia of Access Securities joining in. It's a bit of a challenge for me to identify the two of you, but what I will do is I will, in, uh, I will uh, refer to uh, uh, you, Rajesh Agarwal, as Rajesh Agarwal and Rajesh for Rajesh Palviya, and hopefully we'll be able to get through the next half an hour or so. Uh, let's first go to you, Rajesh Agarwal, on uh, fundamentals on ICICI Bank. What do you make of the results, and would you buy at this juncture? It is one of the outperformers. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Rajesh. And it's a pleasure to be in your show. Uh, as far as ICICI is concerned, uh, I totally agree with Harsh what uh, he said right now that the contraction in the NIM square uh, lesser than when we compared to Kodak or Access. And that's one of the very big positives which I think is there in ICC Bank. Uh, June quarter numbers, we all know, has been very uh, good. FAT went up by around 15%, and I went up by around 7%. Loan growth was around 15%. The best part was... Uh, net interest margin, which came at around 4.36%. This is better than some of its larger peers. NI growth has been consistent through last two, three quarters. And we should not also forget but that the pad was helped by treasury gains and dividend. The best part was the subsidiaries were doing very well. The LI business bottom line was up. Uh, performance came in, very good performance came in from GI, where uh, bottom line was up by around 47%. We expect that the ROA would be continuing to be in the 2.2, 2.3 range in the next two, three years or so. So we are bullish on this stock, although it has run up quite a lot, maybe uh, 1260, 1270 odd levels in the short term would be a probable target, but, but that would be a very small target. But for a one-year time horizon, we believe 1400 would be a better target to look up. All right. So there is still upside from this uh, point, despite the kind of run that the bank has had. Let's jump into the queries and just a quick rem reminder, you see the number on your screen, that's where you send your questions to us. The first question we're taking is from Kanishk and he's talking about a counter that has run uh, quite a bit. He's bought Cochin Shipyard at a price of 2845 and he's wondering whether he should hold or sell. The stock is up 4.5% today itself or more than that, close to 5% in trade today 
and uh, unfortunately it is not uh, above his buy price so rajesh on the technicals what should he do should he hold on to this yeah so i think uh, he should hold the position as uh, over a long term structure is bullish there was some mild profit taking was there in last couple of uh, uh, week but uh, still again uh, the stock is uh, now you know uh, uh, penetrating uh, to its uh, 20 day moving average i think uh, if it stocks crosses about 26 20 level then i think that, that the next target for the stock for near term perspective would be around 2800 and if it crosses 2800 then next target we can see towards 3200 to 3400 also so overall the structure is bullish beyond dip is the strategy i think if we can uh, deploy some more uh, you know a uh, 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 position here uh, to average out uh, would be again you know right strategy as uh, we believe that you know overall the structure is bullish and possible target on a positional perspective we can see towards 3200 to 3400